Good morning, everybody. Today I wanted to talk about the My Digital Studio. Um, I created this book using My Digital Studio. I just got it in the mail. Isn't it cute? And uh, in the beginning, I used the boilerplate that came with it. Um, as you can see, they have places for you to pop in pictures, and it already has some embellishments. But as I went along and got more comfortable with it, I started uh, customizing the pages for my own use. And it was actually pretty easy. So what I want to do today is show you how you can make your own custom pages. Um, I'm actually working on a calendar for my husband. So I'm going to show you some of that. Okay, so I already have, I'm inside my digital studio. It's really easy to load. It comes on a DVD. Just load it on your machine. Very easy. Um, I've already started a calendar project, so I'm going to bring that up. Just waiting for it to load. I've already done a couple of pages on the calendar, so I'll show you a few. So that's my main page. Let me see if I can turn the screen a bit. Okay, so that's my main page with a picture of my son. Here's my January page that I had made out. And this is a custom page that I created. This is my February page that I had actually shared on my website last week. March. Here we go into April. I love this picture of my son. I tried to match the color of his shirt to the background here, as you can see. And then here, is my May page. So I'm going to go ahead and start June. Okay, so on a calendar, this is how the screen comes up. Um, I'm actually, my photo isn't going to be this size, so I'm going to remove that. And there's a little bit of text here. I'm going to remove that. So I'm starting with a blank page. If I was starting a um, scrapbook page or a card, I could actually start off with a template. It would either have, you know, pictures of where to put photos, or it could have a whole background with papers and such for me to start with. But that's not what I want to do on this project. <clears throat> so let me find a picture that I want to use. I have some pictures on my hard drive. Let's see. Let's use this one. So it had already browsed my pictures that were on my hard drive, so I just added them in. Another thing I could have done was just go to the insert photo. Okay, so that's my picture of my husband with his family. Now I'm going to select my background paper that I want to use. So let's see. Maybe I'll start off with a designer series paper. So it brings up this screen and it has a list of the different designs. So let me see if I can zoom in so you can see it a bit better. So I have blooms, brocade, distressed, and so on. Once I expand that, it gives me all of the Stampin' Up! 48 colors plus the in colors. And I can choose the design with those colors. So like this is brocade blue. Let me add that one as the background. Okay, so you can see the blue there. So let's say I don't like that one. I can just go back to the designer paper. Let's say I want to pick a different color, maybe the bashful blue brocade. I can select that and it's going to replace the brocade with now the bashful blue. Quick and easy, right? Now, in addition to having, you know, the normal 48 colors with different designs as the background, we also have designer kits. These have papers from um, either the designer series paper or also from the scrapbook kits. So let me open one here. Let's see. I'm just going through to pick a color that I like. And 
Now, of course, when you click on a paper, it gives you a preview here. So that's nice to be able to see it before you actually apply it. So there's several kits in here. Let's see, maybe I'll go with this one. Maybe Baja Blue Villa. Just waiting for it to apply. Okay, so I've got my designer series paper on the background, my picture. Let me go ahead and zoom back out so you can see the full screen. Okay. So now what I can do is I can actually add an additional paper. So I have in here cardstock selections. Um, I can also do custom where I could take a picture and make it the background or any other image that I already have on my hard drive. I'm going to do, let's see, another designer series paper on this page. Uh, let's see, Maybe chocolate chip dotted stripe, but on the bottom there's this add as a page layer. Let me zoom in so you can see that. So it's at the bottom of the screen here, add as a page layer. When I select that, it'll bring in my new page, my new background as a small piece. What I can do then is I can make it the size that I want. What I've also found that you're able to do is if I resize it now, so right now this is the dimensions of it, if I change it to 150 I can actually make the stripes closer together. So I'm going to do that. So now the stripes are closer together. Then what I can do is double click on it. This is a full sheet it wants to know how much of the sheet you want to see. So I'm going to want about a half page. So let me highlight that, say OK. Now because I shrunk it down, this is as large as I can actually get it. I can't get it the full size of the page. Then I can actually put it behind my picture, like so. and add it as a page layer. 